I remember talking to Chelsea about this and she was like, Allie, like I wish you could have experienced what sex feels like on the other side of it. Like on like feeling your entire body. And I was like, huh. I don't even think my friends have asked me what can you feel, you know, because it's something that they're scared to ask. So yes, sex is amazing. I, I just, I am just the kind of person who just loves sex. I always feel like it's important to do things so that you don't have to wonder what if. I was hurt in a car accident when I was two years old with my mom and my brother, and I had a spinal cord injury, which left me paralyzed from the C7, T2 level, which is about here, um, so chest down. My brother also um, was injured in the car accident. He had a traumatic brain injury, and Jake and I were in a rehabilitation center for six months. People would say things like, you're too pretty to be in a wheelchair and that can't be permanent. And that really started to get my wheels turning about what it meant to be disabled. This is where it just all goes down. These hands are my freedom. I was confused about why the two things couldn't be possible. And when I was little, I remember going to the mall with my mom because I loved going to the mall because the floors are like really slick. And so like in a wheelchair, it's like heaven. And, um, <laughs> and uh, people were staring at me. And I said, mommy, why are people staring at me? And she said, well, they're staring at you because they've never seen anybody so beautiful in a wheelchair. And that was a really good mom response. And as a little girl, I accepted that response. But then as I got older, I remember thinking to myself, this might be an issue for some guys, but I believe there's someone out there who this isn't a problem for them. It's not an issue. So I have an audition for a feature film today and I had to go up to Midtown and you know some days I decide I say screw those cabs, screw the Ubers, no buses, can't get on the subway. I'm pushing. So I pushed from Chelsea to 43rd today, which is fun, and then I get my workout. I had this huge crush on this boy named Pete. We were friends, but he sort of pushed away when I told him. Sophomore year of high school summer, he asked me out. We dated my junior and senior year, and that was like my first kiss um, and my first relationship. Um, I lost my virginity when I was 18. We used to make out every single time we were together. I would come home like covered in hickeys because it felt so good on my neck because <laughs> it was like where I could feel. And uh, my mom was like, Allie, no, you cannot, you can't have all these hickeys. It's not appropriate. And I was sort of like, I don't care. I love this. That's what the first time falling in love was like for me. And then I moved to LA and I started going out on some dates and it was really bad. I got involved with like just guys that were not good. Like I went out on a date with a guy who like really charmed me. He like showed up with this like really amazing car. Um, but then like started asking me like really kind of gross questions. He was like, oh, I hear girls in wheelchairs give great head. And uh, he started to get like kind of controlling and that ended pretty quickly. And then um, I was seeing somebody else in LA and um, was in a really not great situation and I felt really sexually taken advantage of. And it was a direct reflection of how I felt about myself and I'm aware of that now, but at the time I was like, what's going on? Why is this going so badly? I feel horrible. I was really upset at myself for not having like more respect and like self-worth that like I deserved more. But what was difficult was that I wanted the physical connection and I wanted that thing that like Samantha in Sex and the City could do where she just like 
viewed sex as just like this physical thing, but I wasn't quite ready to reveal myself emotionally to someone. And that part of the intimacy was missing because I was really afraid. And not just like about sharing my body and what it, what it you know, how it's different or, or the way that it is, but more like sharing what it's really like to be me. Ooh.